And so I'm going to be talking about moving the data from Covidence to RevMan. And um, I'm going to be the presenter for this particular part, the demo. So my name is Julie Brown. I'm a community manager with Covidence and I'm based in Auckland, New Zealand. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Covidence, just going to give a really brief um, introduction to us. We were created um, by the research community for the research community. And Covidence aims to streamline the process, the review process, all the way from importing your references and through screening, through to data extraction and exporting your data. What that process means is it saves you time whilst maintaining high quality evidence. Um, we've got a huge number of users around the world, over 400,000 users, and Covidence provides um, a team that gives you support all the way through the review process, both from a technical perspective and from the user perspective as well. So Covidence has the ability to download the completed data extractions that you've done within Covidence and the quality assessments in risk of bias one when you use extraction one within Covidence. And it's exported in a format that you can then import into RevMan and begin your analyses. So when you successfully completed all the processes I'm going to show you today, all of the data you collected in Covidence will be transferred into RevMan and you'll be able to set up your analyses. So this is the agenda for today. I'm going to take you through what you need to do prior to beginning your import into RevMan, how to export the files and check the files from Covidence, how to import those files into RevMan, and then just a couple of uh, frequently asked questions that we get um, at Covidence as well. And I'm going to be using a mixture of slides and live demo. So I'll take you through some of the steps on the slides, and then I'll transfer over to both RevMan and Covidence to show you, um, to reinforce those descriptions with the demos. So let's get started with what you need to do prior to beginning your import. So the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that all the data extraction has been completed and quality assessment, if you're using risk of bias one, have all been completed in Covidence and that you've gone through the consensus process. And that will give you the final data set for you to export. You also need to make sure that all the included studies have got ID numbers. <clears throat> so you should see on each of your references that there's a Covidence ID number. There's an author name and a date. Now on very rare occasions, because of the way that the files have been imported, you might just have um, the Covidence ID number. If that's the case, then just contact us at the support team. So support at Covidence.org and we can help you um, fix up that issue so that you get the full ID information there. There are also a couple of steps that you need to do within RevMan as well. And I'm going to show you those on the demo in a moment. You need to enable study centric data. You need to add some names for your interventions and your outcomes. And you need to add identification as a user defined characteristic. You also can set up your analyses in advance if you want to. And that's entirely optional. And the final step is that you need to import some references, your included references from Covidence. So I'm just going to leave my screen, the slides here now, and I'm going to take you to RevMan. So this is a RevMan review that I've got um, set up, ready to go. And the first thing that I said that we needed to do was to enable um, the study-centric data. 
So to do that, I'm going to click on the Enable Advanced Features button. And you can see that study centric data is one of the options there. So you select that. I've already done that in advance and you can see that I've got study centric data here that's already um, visible and optimized. <clears throat> the next thing that you need to do is to add those names for your interventions and outcomes. To do that, we need to go to review criteria. So I'm going to be covering the interventions, outcomes, characteristics, and risk of bias here. So for interventions, you need to add in the names of your interventions as they appear in Covidence as well. So both the names here and in Covidence <coughs> need to match exactly. If they don't match exactly, then you're going to end up with import errors. Outcomes. Outcomes again. You can add, easily add outcomes using the Add Outcomes button. These outcomes must again match exactly the outcomes as they're reported in Covidence and in the exports from Covidence. Make sure that the data type is correct as well. Now within <clears throat> characteristics, RevMan has a number of core items that it brings across. So these are the methods, participants, interventions, and outcomes. Now, you, when you use Extraction 1 in Covidence, we have another section of the template which is called Identification. And Identification um, is a section that allows you to add information about funding sources, or it might be the contact author details, for example. And so there's a column in one of the export files that's called identification, and we need to make sure that you can bring that data across. And so to do that, you need to click on the Add Characteristic Definition button here. And so this becomes a user-defined characteristic. I'm going to call it identification. So that's now added identification and it's user defined. So that will enable that specific column to move across. For risk of bias, um, you just need to make sure that, um, just to kind of reinforce again, that confidence only supports risk of bias one at the moment. So you can import that directly from confidence. Make sure that all of the domains are exactly the same as you've got in Covidence. And if you've added any other domains in your template, that you have them added here as well and to ensure that the information comes across. So I'm just going to go over now to Covidence. And I'm going to bring in the references. So these will be my um, included studies. To do that, I'm going to click on Export. I'm going to go to the References section here, and I'm going to select Included Studies. Now, you can do, follow exactly the same process to import your excluded studies into RevMan, but just note that um, the exclusion reasons are not currently exported through this pathway, so we'll only be exporting references themselves. So at the moment, I'm going to do Included Studies. And I'm going to select Cochrane RevMan. Export. And you'll get a download file here, which you can download onto your computer, ready to import um, into RevMan. So I've done that in advance. So I'm going to go back to my RevMan review. And I'm going to go to studies this time and included studies.
And to bring those studies across, I'm going to go over here to the action, to the drop down list, and I'm going to click on import studies from references. I'm going to select the file they want those to come from. So as I said, I already downloaded that. Okay. So this is going to bring in the imported, the included references from my review. So here we are of just bringing four across, um, nice small number of references. You may have many more within your review. And when I click on a study, that opens up. It's empty at the moment. I haven't brought any data over other than the reference itself. So I've got the study reference, but you can see the characteristics are here that are all ready um, for the data to be imported into, including that extra section that we just added, identification.